Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days, coming to you from the Beat Slab in Hollywood, California, Iron Hands, secretly easy. Yo, Iron Hands at the talk of the town, we're going to be digging into it with Army Painter War Paints, we're going to be using black and ultramarine, we're going to mix them together at some point in this video, and I'll explain it. So we're going to paint a black model. Black sometimes it's tricky to make look good because of the transitions how do you make it not look gray i'm 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 gonna answer that for you it's gonna be gray for now so what i like to do first is spray it down with black even though i just primed this thing black i like to get in all the nooks all the crannies lay down a little bit of thin black leave the dirty paint water behind in the airbrush add a little of our blue gangster gumbo engage thin it down let's do a top down highlight zeptio highlight with this shadowed gray a little color in it, a little blue in it. Add a little flown prover to the mix, add a little bit more blue, brighten it up. Let's do another pass. Let's slowly build it up. Now this is secretly easy, you could do this. If you had 10 of these guys laid out, so fast, so easy guys. Tanks, whatever. Just build up some highlights. You want it to be brighter, but you don't want it to be like totally monotone. Adding a little color in it, like a faded ultramarine color, looks fabulous. Now I'm gonna put a drop of white in there. It is desaturated. It's going to brighten it up a little bit further. We're going to get in a little tighter here and we're going to make those highlights sing to us. So, Gangster Gumbo, keep it thin. You want it to be a little bit more on the thin side. You want to use the regulator on your GSI, Mr. Hobby Airbrush. This is what I like to use. I get these from spraygunner.com. Get in tight. Now, with the PSI so low, you can really control the flow and really build up some strong highlights without fucking everything up. Aimed at the head, put a little on the shoulder, get some of the backpack, make it look beautiful, icy and precise. And as you can tell, this does not look like an Iron Hands model. He looks terrible. We will solve this problem later, at a later date. This is a future Kenny problem. We're just trying to get highlights locked in and not be monochromatic. Make them shiny, make them pretty. Now, you guys might recognize the Space Marine from several videos. This is actually our original Contrast Marine. He has gone through several phases of painting for many private coaching classes over on Patreon. And now he's becoming Iron Hands for you. He was once a shittily painted Contrast Ultramarine. We're going to go into the Army Painter color match plate mail. I'm going to be using the actual starter brush from the Army Painter box set. And we're going to just start locking in details with the quickness. Paint the hands. He is Iron Hands. Basically, everything that sort of looks like it would be metal, paint it metal. That's Iron Hands. That's how they do. Okay. Now, this is some Primaris Marine, some Phobos armor guy. He's got other things on him. Grenades, purity seals, ammo pouches. We'll paint them all. We're going to, we're, we're basically challenging ourselves all month long with Army Painter using their color match system to see how we can use those colors to paint any model. We did an avatar, now we're doing an Iron Hands model. Just lock it in. This paintbrush is pretty good. I just pulled it out of the box. Came in. It came with the color match system. It's a decent brush. Little, uh, Not as high quality as a lot of the sable brushes I use, but we're going to paint this model with them. It does manage its details, I would say, with this brush Use light brush pressure, really pay attention, slow your roll. So we're going to cut in all the things that I would traditionally paint black, silver on this guy, since his armor is black, like these servo, these servo lig ligaments. God, it's a hard word to say. Make them look shiny, be precise, catch his little skull on his chest. That's how you know you're the good guys of the galaxy, when you have skulls on your chest plates, grenades, everything. Catch everything you can. If it's, I mean, like if it's like I said, if it's Iron Hands and it looks like it might be silver, it is silver. That's how they do. Feeling good about this guy. Basic workup. Locked in. Now here's something I'm excited about. We're gonna do a little ghetto edge highlighting with the silver. Using the tip of the brush, light brush pressure, we're gonna just trace the hard edges and line work of some of these areas. Basically, what we're saying is the paint is chipped away exposing the silver under panel no big deal it'll look really classy later i'm just cutting it in showing you a way to paint this type of model and hold it down i have a lot of fun doing these types of highlights just cut it in quick 
anywhere you would normally do a standard highlight, just do it with this silver, but I cannot emphasize this enough. Light brush pressure. Be ginger. Be delicate on your approach. You don't want to tear it up. Slop it on. But if you do, you can always come back from that. You know how it is. Be brave in the Beats Lab. So what we're looking at right now is an Iron Hands Primaris Phobos Marine in the hot garbage stage, as I like to call it. It's a scientific term for what we're looking at here. It just looks like shit. But just trust in the process, guys. It is so easy. We're not even breaking sweats today in the Beats Lab. We're just making it happen. Leather Brown, another one of the color match colors that came in the box set. Let's just quickly rapid fire, thin it down. Let's paint the ammo patches with this brown. Even the Purity Seal. Let's make it happen. We are going to paint this guy. He's going to be playable today. Okay. Green skin, another random color. Paint the grenades all day, every day. Now it is my goal guys to do a little bit more top to bottom tutorials like the old days here. Pure red, paint the eyes, paint the purity seal. So obviously my style is always keep it easy, secretly easy, get that shit on the tabletop. So I'm going to be kind of refocusing these studio tutorials to, toward that concept like all the way, step one, step 100, we're going to get it done. Then if you want to find some of that high level glazing wet blending, advanced techniques. We've got you covered in the Twitch VODs and even our private classes. Demonic yellow, one of my favorite colors. We're gonna mix it in a little bit with the brown and just do a quick second pass on the leather brown. I want it to have a bit of an edge. I want it to be a little bit dimension. You gotta get creative with the color match paints as they're limited on colors, but if you mix them together, you can make the magic happen, okay? Just cutting them in. Get them all. Boom. That's where he keeps his stuff. Okay. We got to do another thing. Now that we got all that locked in, we got to talk about the base. So I'm going to show you my wet palette. These are some of the pure colors we've been using. We've got some red. I'm going to make a pile, introduce some brown. My intent is to brown up the red, add a little yellow to brighten it up. I'm liking that. Now I'm going to move it over to the brown over there. And you know what? I like how that's looking. So let's pull some of the red back to the brown. A lot of times what I do is this. I go back and forth until I get the color I want. I like that. So that was yellow, brown, red. And we're going to paint the base. Be brave in the beat slab. Make it happen. So once we get that done, we're going to let him dry. He is set up. He's pre-wash. So we're gonna set them over in front of the fan, let it happen. Hey, but real quick guys, hereticswag.com. I've got new designs on the weekly. We've got the new Iron Legion. I'm particularly proud of that design, our new Terminator style. Yo guys, check it out. Promo code Legions, 15% off. Dark tone and strong tone, two of the best washes in the Army Painter staple. So we're gonna be leaning on dark tone, which is black. Fit it down a little bit with some quick shade mixing medium or flow improver. And we're going to wash all the metal and all the black with this quick shade, AKA this wash. This is a product. We're going to be using it thin, light brush pressure. We're going to be trying to stay active, disperse it. Don't let it build up anywhere. If it gets on something brown, that's fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to make it happen. Just lock it in. What it's going to do is two things, guys. It's going to really bring darkness to the crevices, but also it's going to tint those blues and make them black. But it's going to be black with dimension. We're going to use the strong tone. We're going to paint the base, the ammo pouches, all that stuff. Army Painter has an incredibly complete set of colored washes. Still makes the best washes in the game today. Super happy with these. So we let it dry for a few minutes. There's... There it is. I mean, that's tabletop ready, guys. Put that on the tabletop. You're happy. But hey, we do. We like to go one step further here on the channel. Let's go back. Every color we just used, we're going to use it again. We're going to do some quick, dramatic highlights on the silver. Just rapid fire. Throw a couple highlights in. Make it look a little bit more dimension. Give it a little drama by just adding a little slash here and there with that plate mail. No big deal. Do it on the shoulder pads, do it on his face, do it on his bolter, anywhere you feel like it needs it. It's not science. Now we're going to grab that shadow gray mix that we made off our wet palette. We're going to carve in some fake ass highlights on the shoulders. I, I call them fake highlights because 
We're just making it up. Makes it look interesting. I don't understand why. Doesn't make sense for light. I'm not a light scientist. We're just gonna carve it up anywhere. Light brush pressure. It's thinned down. It's no big deal. This is interesting. This is the OG Iron Hands look. You go on GW's website, you see this. They use a little bit more blue in their mix than we do. We're a little bit more desaturated, keeping it a little bit more on the black side of things, but with a little bit of dimension because we use that ultramarine blue. Carve it up anywhere in the leg you want. You know, we did a lot of that edge highlighting with the silver, and now you can see it showing through the wash. It looks really good. It's muted. It's subdued. And we're just going to add this to the top of things. You know, a little highlight here and there, we're, you know, no big deal. You can progressively add brighter and brighter colors to this mix, a little white, you know, just punch it up a notch, you know, give it that look, make them shiny. Black is secretly easy as long as you take a minimalist approach. Don't over highlight it. Don't overshade it. Don't hit it with the airbrush until you make it gray. Just be content with it being black and then having some shiny ass edges. That's simple. So now we're in the white stage, just adding tiny little exclamation points on the armor. Love it. And so far, this little brush is doing a good job. I'm happy with it. Okay, guys, let's drop in on the base. Yellow, white, brown. We're just going to dry brush it. We're using an army painter dry brush right now. And we're just going to do a light little dry brush. Just bring some dimension into that base. Carve it up. Make it look its best. Loving it. Getting this guy beyond tabletop ready. I mean, honestly, next level painting system 101, this is tabletop ready. I would never put a model on the table that didn't have a couple of highlights. But you can totally get away with the steps just before the highlight stage here. Would obviously pass any event, any, any scrutiny for three color minimum. So we're just using a little bit of the darker brown, the initial brown. Dry brush some into his boots. Make him look like he's on a dusty base. And there it is. You tell me, guys, in the description box below. Was this secretly easy? Yes or no? Play on, players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.